Now, Consumer Alert Health Inspectors report a significant mouse infestation at a local movie theater. They say they found droppings around the areas where popcorn and other food is stored. And that's not all they found. Inspectors cited an overall lack of cleanliness at the facility. John Shumway joins us with more on the story. John. Yeah, and it wasn't just here. It was also at a restaurant up the street. This is one of the last things that an owner of a facility wants to see. A health department report that causes an alert to be placed on their front door, mainly because the alert says conditions may pose a health risk to the consumer, not only here at the Phoenix 18 in Collier, but also at a restaurant up the street. Peter's Place is one of those area institutions that's been around for a generation or two and hosted more family events than you can imagine. So you can understand why owner Bill Peters really didn't want to talk to me today about the consumer warning plastered on his front door by the health department. Specifically, the health department report says it found rat and mouse droppings, a dead mouse or two on glue boards, and numerous other rodent-related issues. The sign on the door didn't seem to deter the midday crowd who emerged from the restaurant satisfied. The food is good. The food is always good here, so if there's a mouse in there, what the heck? The Grubich cousins say they noticed the alert on the way in. We asked her about it and she was honest and we, we felt very happy because we've come here many times. We weren't concerned overly because we've it was very crowded. Right we've come here before. We've always had a good and meal. They were honest. Yeah. And they were honest with us. It didn't bother me because they were honest and we didn't see mice running around. <laughs> yeah. And it's a nice place. Owner Bill Peters told the Post Gazette the problems have been fixed and he has requested a re inspection. Meanwhile, at the Phoenix Big Cinemas Chartier's 18, the health department found mouse droppings too numerous to count. They found them on the counter around the pretzel machine, in the cabinets used to store the butter dispensers, in the bulk candy storage cabinet, and more. You couldn't miss the signs on the theater doors, but few people arriving midday were discouraged. One woman quipped, I guess we won't be eating any popcorn today. The manager did come out to see me. I, I really can't talk, I'm sorry. And referred me to the corporate headquarters in yeah, Knoxville, good. Tennessee. Good luck. Hope they get them down soon. Thank you. And about 50 minutes ago, I got a phone call from the CEO of uh, Phoenix Theater Entertainment, Phil Zaccaretti, who was out on the West Coast, but very much informed about what's going on here. He tells me that they are doing everything in their power to find any possible place there's a problem and get it cleaned up. They won't stop until they get this place back to the previous health position that it's been in before. They've never had this problem before. He's very concerned about it and they believes that probably within a day or so they should be able to get that health inspector back in here for a reinspection and get these signs taken down. Boarding live in Collier Township in Bridgeville, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.